So in my last video, people may have noticed the singer in the background. And this is a treadle powered sewing machine. Been experimenting with, with making padding for armor. Um, one of my experiments went really horribly wrong. I think I have the wrong foot on the machine and I don't think the thread that I was using was tough enough. But the idea was to double stitch along either side of a sort of hemp-like cord. So that was one idea. And it, and it has not, as you can see, worked out very well so far, that experiment. This is working pretty good. This was just looking at what I could get locally from the fabric store for a decent price. This is 100% cotton for the top layers and the center layers are 100% wool. Uh, the cotton is about $1.20 a yard. I just bought the whole bolt because I can probably make tea tunics and other stuff out of it and I'm going to be experimenting a lot. They had less of this stuff though which is just this woven mat sort of padding and this is the wool. It was I think about five and a half dollars per yard. It's mainly testing to see if I could go with lighter fabrics than the things that I have purchased or made out of and have it still be sufficient. Another thing I was thinking about is for the diamond quilted sections on something like this, the intersections of those diamonds could be holed and grommeted. And I think that might reinforce that part of it and at the same time allow the fabric to breathe so that you're not getting all sweaty and disgusting underneath as easily. So the idea is something that's just as sufficient as the things I can buy, but lighter, breathes, I can make it inexpensively. That's what I'm going for with the padded armor. And I'm going to be testing this in a little bit here. I want to see how well it actually stands up to blunt stabbing, to chops, and to cutting. So I have here some boneless and skinless chicken, as well as some twine to tie it with. And I also have a few items here that I think should be suitable for testing how it withstands cutting and chopping, stabbing with a point, and more of a blunt stab like it might receive from a, from a practice weapon. Now, this isn't looking at what kind of damage it's gonna do to the chicken exactly. That's probably not even the best substitute. That's just there to give it a little realistic give. This test is for how the fabric and the layering behaves. No damage trying to chop it that way. Try on the angle more aimed at the seam. And no damage. Let's try for more of a cut. Okay, so cutting did manage both times to push through the layers.
This is the second of the push cutting and you can tell because the mat was facing up on the second layer that it didn't quite go through and so I'm wondering from this if maybe all the mats should be facing up and have the fluff side facing down. Because of my angle I'm going to come in at it this way. That's the stab, and if I can show, place my finger right there, pull it up. Okay, it did go all the way through. Go again. Yeah, it's not tearing. It's definitely not going to pierce with how dull that is. Let's see if a, a couple of maybe rough swipes might get it to tear. I think that test is done. You know, it held up better than I expected and I have a better idea about what I want to do now no doubt if something sharp hits this that first layer is definitely going if it stabs it it's going through likely because I did stab it twice and one of the stabs didn't go all the way Primarily through. Primarily padding and with blunted or specialized training weapons, somewhat sufficient as training armor. So I think this is, I think what I got going here is actually gonna work just fine, but again, because that second mat did not sever, I have a feeling that if all the woven sides are face up, that it might perform significantly better. But that is a test for another day. Hey, no.